Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing some random action figures and toys. First on the list, we got this big, huge military vehicle from the 2000s that holds dolls. I don't have a military doll to go in this vehicle, but this is definitely a military vehicle. And I looked at the year this toy came out, 2000, so this toy is 23 years old today. Not a bad looking vehicle. It rolls very well. No turning wheels or anything. Cannon can turn, so you can be like, get the cannon to turn and go poo, pew, pew, bang, bang. And I don't have military toys to go with it. We got Grogu in the driver's seat in this Star Wars clone trooper doll from the mid-2000s as well. And this just reminds me of a big scale turbo tank. Look at it go. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this. So much fun. So cool looking. I don't know what particular military vehicle this is. Because I'm not familiar with military vehicles. If you know, then leave me a comment. Because I don't know much about it. But it is so cool. I got this for free a very long time ago. I paid zero dollars on it. So not bad for a free military toy. Now we're done with that. Let's get on to the rest of our freebies here. And 1980s Kenner Star Wars. We got this little creature octopus monster I got from work. I found this for free. Someone threw it in the garbage. It is a little cute little octopus monster. No articulation, but really well sculpted and painted. That's just cool. Of course, a little dinosaur. I found this in the road for free. <laughs> Not broken. Got a couple of old school spider rings. The ring part is broken, but the spiders are still intact. Why not? Yeah, I say, why not? And this is some vintage little plastic toys. I think from the 70s or 80s. We got this kid riding a bike. He's really old. Look at that. That's just so cool. You don't see toys like this around anymore. And this big plastic Cowboy. I'm a rhinestone cowboy. Da, da. Rodeo. Next on the list, we're going to look at our Kenner Star Wars from the 1980s. I don't have a lot of this old school Star Wars stuff, but I did find this stuff either at the Steel City Con or... I had family members give this to me. This is my... Very first Snow Trooper from Star Wars Kenner. Pretty cool. I don't have their original weapons, which is a shame. Articulation is pretty limited. And this is my very first Imperial Snow Storm Trooper. Love this toy. It's also from the 1980s. I don't have any stands for these figures. Otherwise, very neat looking figures. For the 1980s. Why not? So we got an Imperial ATST driver. Also Star Wars Kenner. But he's in better shape. Which is pretty cool. No stand for him. But still pretty cool. Got my first ever 1980s Star Wars IT. R2-D2. Sorry, I get confused. So, yeah. We got 
an Imperial Biker Scout, also Kenner Star Wars, 1980s. Pretty cool. No stands for either of these. This one's head moves. So that's pretty cool. Next, we got IG-88. Also from the 1980s Star Wars Kenner. He kicks out that far. Yep. Articulation on this guy is pretty good. For an old school Kenner Star Wars. And my last bit of freebies we are going to show off is these little people, which I got for free. Someone was getting rid of these, and I got these for free, and they're fantasy-related. I do like collecting some fantasy toys. You got this little, little, uh, dwarf girl. Why not? She's pretty cute looking. Got a couple butterfly girls. Why not? They can fly. Dwarf girl can ride in her horse. If you want her to ride in the horse. So pretty cool. So these are pretty fun. If I do say so myself, articulation is pretty limited with these. So you're not going to see much articulation. None in the head. None in the arms. But some in the legs, but no knees or elbows. You can get one in the sitting in the chair up here and be like, oh, it's a nice day to sit in the chair and enjoy some tea and crumpets. <laughs> yeah. And one going swing like wee wee. And these are pretty fun for what I paid for what I got for them, which was zero dollars. So I'm definitely glad to be adding some more stuff to my collection. And this is my entire freebie toy haul as of 2023. And these were some awesome finds. I paid $0 for these, and I'm so happy I have them. I'm definitely looking forward to adding stuff more like this to my collection. But this is going in my personal fantasy collection with my dragons and all that. My dungeons and dragons and all that. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.